In this segment, I'll be going through the image quadrant of the Leica S2's menu system. To access the image quadrant within the Leica S2 menu, hit the lower left button twice. Now we have access to some of the image setting parameters within the Leica S2. Your first option is ISO. Within the ISO menu, click the scroll wheel, you have several options. You have a base ISO of 160, a pull 80, 320, 640, and a 1250. In addition, you have an auto ISO functionality where the camera will choose the optimum ISO for you based on two important criteria that you will set. Clicking on the auto ISO function brings you to two new options. First, you'll want to set the highest ISO you want the camera to go to. We recommend 640. Next, you'll want to set the slowest shutter speed that the camera will use before it boosts the ISO again. We recommend going into manual and choosing a shutter speed of 1 to 50th. Click in, click OK, you're good to go. You'll notice that some options are grayed out. This is because they'll only affect a JPEG file. In order to change your file format, click on the File Format menu option, and you have several options. You can shoot, by default, an Adobe Digital Negative RAW file, DNG, which is usable in a wide variety of RAW processing programs, and it's considered the universal RAW file format. In addition to DNG, you can also shoot DNG plus JPEG Fine, JPEG Basic, and JPEGs by themselves. Keep in mind, shooting JPEGs will take up more space on the memory card. When you've got your selection, click the scroll wheel, you're ready to go. Your next option, white balance. To change your white balance, click the scroll wheel in. You'll notice you have several options. Auto, the camera will choose the white balance for you. Or you have several custom options like daylight, cloudy, shadow, tungsten, HMI, which are daylight balance, continuous lighting, commonly found on video sets, fluorescent warm, fluorescent cool, flash, manual metering, and color temperature. The last two are some of the most important. Color temperature allows you to set a custom color temperature in increments of 200 degrees Kelvin, like so. When you've got the setting you like, click the scroll wheel, and you're back to the main menu. Manual metering is another important setting to know. What manual metering does is creates a custom white balance for the specific light that you're in based on photographing a white or neutral gray piece of material. To do so, simply click the scroll wheel, and the camera will instruct you to hold a white card in front of the lens. When you've got your white card set up, simply fire the shutter. It will give you a preview of what you've shot, and your custom white balance is now set. This is a great way to get really precise white balance in a wide variety of lighting conditions. After white balance, we have color management. Keep in mind that color management applies an embedded profile only to JPEGs. So if you're shooting RAWs, this setting will not be available. To access color management, simply click in, and you have three options. sRGB, great for web, Adobe RGB, which is great for printing, and ECI RGB 2.0, which is a wide color space that hasn't really caught on, but gives you the most amount of color information possible. When you've made your selection, click in, and you're ready to move on. The user profile allows you to save the camera settings in a number of customizable user profiles. In addition to having your own user profile, you can save your profiles to a memory card, great for when you're renting a camera or loaning it to friends. To save your profiles to a card, simply click Export, say Yes, and quickly the camera will export your, your camera settings to a memory card. After user profile, the next page gives you your image parameters. Again, these will be grayed out when you have DNG only selected. These parameters only affect JPEG files. To change your parameters, click in, and you can change your contrast, your sharpness, your saturation. This is a great way to shoot black and white, but again, only for JPEGs. When you've made your selections, hit Exit. Now you can see the two lower quadrants. The image quadrant gives you your ISO, resolution, file format, and current white balance. In the lower right quadrant, you can see your current color profile, your contrast, sharpness, and saturation settings.